What would be your reaction if you were to get pregnant with twins again? If I were to get pregnant with twins again, that'd be my reaction. Hi you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Heather, as you can tell. And I have two babies, little twins. They are five months old right now and they are just the best. It is also the hardest thing I've ever done, but I would have it no other way. That being said, I asked you guys on my Instagram what questions you have for me, updated Q&A. So let's jump in. Okay, I have a lot of questions here and I'm just gonna start jumping into it. I'll try to like answer as many as I can and keep my answers and say since I can because I can tend to drone on. Okay, are you getting any sleep? Well, they were sleeping through the night up until like four months, basically. Like I'd get like a seven or eight hour stretch, feed them, and then they'd sleep for like four hours. Gosh, I mean the past at least three weeks now, it's been really, really bad. We thought it was like the sleep regression or the leap or something, which I think it was, but they haven't gone back to sleeping through the night. Um, it's just been really, really tough and I've not been getting sleep. I did get some questions about if we're planning to sleep train, um, transitioning out of the snoo, nap times. Uh, let me talk about that. We still have them in the snooze. Honestly, like this week or next week, we plan to try to transition them. It's time, like Hudson is so long that his head is starting to hit the top of the snoo, which means they gotta move. And I think he wakes himself up in the snoo because he wants to wiggle a bit more. I mean, another question I got is whether or not they are rolling. They do roll. And if we kind of like push their booty a little bit, they roll. But I wouldn't say they're rolling yet. So that hasn't really been an issue in the snoo either way because they're strapped in, you know? But usually that's a sign if they're starting to roll that they want to wiggle more. So they'll be uncomfortable being strapped into the snoo. It's just time to transition them. Yes, we do want to sleep train. We have the taking care of babies handouts and I plan to kind of do that. There's just some modifications that I feel more comfortable doing and, and having twins. It's just a lot of getting up in the night. So um, I don't want to cry it out yet. <laughs> plan to do like maybe a little version of like Ferber kind of giving them increments where I'll go in. But I'm also fine with like holding them and rocking them to sleep if I need to. I don't know, I, we haven't done it yet. So wow, talk about not giving a concise answer when I literally said I was gonna give concise answers. We haven't sleep trained yet, we are going to sleep train. I will make a video about that when I do so. And we plan to do taking care of babies slash Ferber. What am I looking forward to most when the twins are older? I'm really looking forward to them starting to play with each other just in like a few months once they're starting to like crawl and go and hold things and like pass things back and forth. I'm really excited to see them interact more. They definitely look at each other now and once in a while, like one of them will babble at the other one, but not full on interactions. Um, so feeding nap schedule for the twins came up a lot, a lot of feeding questions. Basically what we do right now, like I said, the taking care of babies program, and we're kind of in between four and five months right now. They are like five months and 10 days right now, but they were born a month early. So we are finding that they're trending a little bit closer to being a month or so behind on different milestones, even though milestones are ranges anyways. So nap time, we usually do about an hour and a half to two hour wake windows. I try my very hardest to keep them on the same schedule. I give about 15 minutes of wiggle room. So if Harper wakes up from her nap at, you know, 12, 30. I'll wake him up by like 1245 ish. That way, um, if he needs a little bit more sleep, he can have it, but try to keep them together. And I know if you're watching this and you have a single baby, you're like, what? I would never wake a sleeping baby. You do what you gotta do with twins. It's a totally different ball game. And mothers of multiples will certainly understand where I'm coming from because you have to do your best to keep them on a schedule or you will lose your mind if it is back and forth all day long. And we definitely have those days and they're really, really tough on everyone because they're really tough on me and then I'm not being a great mom to them because I'm so burnt from just literally not even being able to like eat or go to the bathroom. I'm just like baby, 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 baby all day. So I do my very best to keep them on their schedule. Usually it's 7, 10, 1, 4, 7. Wake at 7 a.m., feed, feed at 10, feed at 1, feed at 4, and then 
feed at seven and that's their bedtime. As far as feeding goes, they're still fully on breast milk. I nurse them during the night when they've been waking up because that's the only thing that's been soothing them. So that will have to transition out of. And then I nurse them in the morning, usually like the first one or two feeds. And then I usually just pump and bottle feed the last three feeds of the day to make sure that they are getting enough so that they have enough calories and full bellies to then help them sleep better once bedtime comes. Okay, what do I love most about being a mom? I really love what I thought I was going to love back when I was pregnant and making Q&A videos. Um, I love being the mom. Like It is really fun now that they're um, starting to get kind of like stranger danger and they really recognize who mom and dad are to actually be the mom that they are comforted by. Um, I mean, it's sad and frustrating when we have like people over and they want to help and I give them a baby and then they start screaming but then when they give the baby back to me and then like Harper or Hudson, you know, calms down. I'm like, it's cool, cool being the calmer, cool being the mom. Um, okay, lots of questions too about stroller, how I like the Uppa baby. And then we also have the Zoe. If you see my Instagram, I am going to make a stroller video. That will be my next video that comes out is a stroller review. Um, the Uppa baby with the Vista attachments with the Nuna Pippa car seat attachments and then the Zoe twin stroller. Um, I really love them all for different reasons. So I'll get into it. Were you ever worried during your first trimester? Well, if you um, are familiar with my pregnancy story, there was a lot to be worried about pretty much my whole pregnancy. First trimester, actually, not really. Um, I was worried once I found out that I had twins. That's pretty much what I was worried about. And then just worried about maintaining both of those pregnancies because there's something called vanishing twin where sometimes two babies show up, but then they both don't survive the first trimester. So and then everything else was second and third. What are your plans for introducing solids to the babes? We don't plan on introducing solids till after they turn six months. They're just still so little. We have high chairs, the Lalo high chairs. I showed that on my last video, I believe. And um, we've put them in them. They definitely can fit in them fine, but I don't know, like Harper's definitely a little slouchy. So we want to just get her a little bit stronger. And then our pediatrician recommended waiting until six months just because they're so small and you just want to make sure it's safe enough. So I'm really not in a hurry, but we are planning on just doing purees. I was gonna do baby led weaning, but my pediatrician did not recommend that. Um, the opposite, she said, I really recommend you don't. There's just so much risk of choking and you have two babies you're gonna be watching and trying to feed. So stick with purees to start for sure. And that is the plan. Um, do you think you will have more kids? I'm thinking right now, no. There's been a few moments where I think maybe <laughs> Right now, I'm still on no. I feel really complete as a family of four and I don't really want to do the newborn thing all over again. That being said, I am like in the middle of it, kind of still five months with twins. So it's hard for me to picture all of a sudden like starting over again. I definitely don't have baby fever. What would be your reaction if you were to get pregnant with twins again? If I were to get pregnant with twins again, that'd be my reaction. I think my most asked question was how has your relationship changed since having twins? Um, it's definitely tougher. I mean, okay, let me preface. We have a great relationship, so nothing bad, but it sure like tests you just because of the sleep deprivation and frustration. You know, it's like, we're not gonna take our frustration out on the babies, their babies, and they're crying because they need us. So you're not mad at them. And I'm not mad at like Alec either, but you're just, frustrated so it's really easy to snap at each other and when you're super tired or it's 3 a.m and you're just like ah, you know who are you gonna get frustrated at your partner yeah i feel like we've just had to lean on each other a ton be really good about communicating um i'm pretty like tough and strong and can be like strung out pretty far before I need a break, but I'm really good about communicating that to him when I do need a break and he knows to take me seriously when I'm like, I need you to take them this morning so I can sleep another hour because I am not well. And he does that and I do that for him too. Um, do I miss working? So yeah, if you missed the memo, I am not working my job anymore. This is my job now and it is around the clock, baby. I loved my team that I worked with and the work we did. I was a marketing manager for a nonprofit, but this is definitely where I need to be in life right now. And I'm really loving being at home. I haven't been like, oh man, I wish I could get out from here. Like go back to work. That hasn't happened yet. How do you survive at nights with two? Do you recommend a night nurse? You know, we talked about a night nurse. For me, I just couldn't figure out like how to make it 
practically work. And I didn't look like that hard into it or talk to people who got night nurses, but I was like, if I'm up breastfeeding or pumping every three hours anyways, sure, there could be someone there to help like get them out of the bassinet and hand them to me and then change their diapers. And um, I guess if I was pumping, they could feed them, but I only started pumping, like pumping to feed around week 16-ish maybe. So I was just exclusively breastfeeding up until then. So I'm like, I have to be up doing this anyway. So an extra five minutes to change some diapers, like I don't feel like it's worth it for a night nurse. So it's really a personal decision. And it really depends on your um, home situation, whether you have a husband around to help or it's just you or you have other kids. Like it was, it's Alec and I here, just the twins. So it's not like I needed every ounce of energy I possibly could gather. Best bang for your buck on baby girl clothes. I really love Zara. Some of their stuff is expensive, but I really love Zara. Target honestly has some cute pieces. Um, you have to kind of wait for good ones though. Otherwise they all look like cheap sometimes too. And then like everyone else has them. I like Baby Gap when there's a sale. And where else do I get her clothes from? Yeah, I feel like a lot of Zara. H&M has some stuff, but I don't feel like the quality is super duper good. And I feel like their sizing runs big. I also have small babies. I don't buy a lot of expensive clothes for them because oh my gosh, they grow so fast. There's so many outfits that were newborn that we had that they either didn't even wear or they wore one time. Um, to not overbuy clothes. I mean, easier said than done. You just don't need that many outfits. One more thing about sleep. One thing that's really nice, our babies go down really easy. As long as I know that they are tired, um, I always wait for them to rub their eyes. That's a pretty good sign to me that they are sleepy. And even at nighttime, we have a pretty good nighttime routine. They know when we sit in our bed with the bottles, with the lights out, or like low, that is night night. And again, we try to make sure that they're definitely sleepy, but they never have a problem going down. So I guess technically they are drowsy and awake. They're not usually like asleep in our arms when we put them down, um, but they just have a hard time staying asleep sometimes. Am I gonna work again when the babies get older? I'm not sure. I do not know. Depends, I guess, if we have more kids. How do I know if the twins are full or if they're being overfed? If they're spitting up a ton after, and I mean like spitting up a lot after, then I feel like ours were being overfed. And then they will just keep eating. They will like keep crying if they are still hungry. We usually do, if it's a bottle, I'll do about four, at least four ounces of breast milk, sometimes four to five ounces per feed, per baby. Sometimes, you know, if Harper doesn't finish, then Hudson will have whatever she didn't finish from her bottle. A lot of questions about, you know, just success in breastfeeding. I'm really grateful that it has worked out for me this long. It's crazy that six months was my goal for breastfeeding and now that's only like a few weeks away and I don't really feel like I'm stopping. So I'm gonna keep going. It's definitely a labor of love and with twins, it's just sort of constant and you're just, your whole life revolves around your three hour pump or feed schedule. As for our success in the beginning, latching, we had to use shields for, we used shields for like 10 weeks. I knew eventually we wouldn't. And then one week, um, we just sort of stopped using them. And that hurt because <laughs> they were like 10 weeks old and stronger. And that was a new thing for us. But after a week or so, I was fine. And I pumped a lot in the beginning, every time I would feed them and then after I would feed them. Um, and then in like the very first few days we had to feed them with syringes um, cause they were so little and couldn't feed um, off of me. So it was a journey. I don't feel like it was especially strenuous. I think I kind of went into it thinking it would be tough and so then it didn't make it feel as tough. Um, okay, just a couple more. How often do I get myself ready, like shower, hair wash? Um, I wash my hair usually every other day, maybe every three days if it's a really crazy day. Um, and then they're starting to grab a lot, so we do a lot of updos because, ouch. So that makes it easier if you're like not washing your hair every day. And then I shower, I try to shower every morning or even like at night after they go to bed. Um, sometimes I'll just take a shower. Then um, I try every morning to put myself together, at least put a little bit of makeup on to just feel better about myself. Um, I do that when they go down for their first nap. If you go to my Instagram, I have a highlight of a day in the life that I filmed. And I've said I was gonna do it on here and I plan to at some point, but I filmed a day in the life so you can go check that out and kind of see my daily routine on there. Did your babies ever sleep with you at night in your bed? No, we've never done that. Thought we just didn't wanna even start doing that. It's not safe. There's been times where they've taken a nap lay next to me, especially when they were like really, really newborn. And I would just lay there in bed and they would sleep next to me, but not like co-sleeping, like what you're referring to. And um, what baby monitor do we use? We use the Vava split screen. Love it. I wanted one with an actual screen, not on my phone. 
Okay, I think that is it, you guys. So thank you so much for submitting those questions. If you guys like this, let me know and I will try to do more Q and A's so I can answer your questions. Thank you so much for liking today's video, for following me on Instagram and subscribing on here and I'll see you on the next one. Bye.